Jane, uh, Henry and Jane have something, uh, but little brother uh, with the big mouth just might have everything. Uh, <laughs> we will see if he has everything. Will you welcome Jane's swinging sibling, Peter Fonda? <laughs> I wish you wouldn't kiss actresses on my show. It makes a lot of the viewers nervous. And, it's, uh, it's, it's very showbiz. Big and... news. What are you talking about? Do you have everything? We could count your fingers and toes and see fingers if you're perfect. Fingers and toes are all and... here, unlike some people. And... Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So you're the man who killed the big movies, eh? <laughs> you know they're referring to you as that now in the, in the business? Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people who don't like uh, Dennis and me and Bert Schneider out there in California. Yeah. I think about three or 4,000 executives had to pack up and move out. Uh, should anyone not know, it's because of the gigantic success of Easy Rider. The, uh, Is that a lot what of it was? Yeah. <laughs> um, I had a beer the last time I was here, didn't I? Full I beer. never noticed things like that. I wouldn't sure, have any, I any, any idea. You did seem to have a, a lot more of something or other. Yeah, yeah you had a beer, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but, but about that now, uh, do they uh, have you followed out there because you have killed the big movies? Uh, they have me tapped. Yeah. Not in the bank, on the phone. Right. Oh, you really? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come, come, come now. Come, come, come now. I have right here a little bit. Oh, see, I made no, that's... Can... Wait a sure. minute, that's Morton's homework. <laughs> Peter that's and right. I, uh, Peter did my television show. I had a television show in yeah, California. Got... It was like this, only for two hours, <laughs> and a radio show right for after. three hours a night. And uh, we were on together. And then I wasn't on anymore. He was forced to go into independent production, which wasn't a bad move. And uh, very fortuitous, as a matter of fact. Very good guest. You know. Oh, Peter Fonda? Oh, yeah. He waxes oh. on about humanity. Oh, I know. I know Peter. Oh, yeah. They had to censor that to... show. Do you remember that? Pardon me? They had to censor that show. The, the radio show they got censored. They did their very best. I said, Tammy, and they had to censor. I can't imagine that. Well, <laughs> it's true, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Want to make any more history here tonight? <laughs> I was going to ask you a couple of things because you were together. Uh, in, I mean, in the old sense of the word, of actually both being here. Um, this is the first. This is the yeah. first time, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a rare yeah. appearance, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You do. Not a rare appearance. No, it's just the first time we've been on the tube together. It is. Yeah. What? Uh, what do you think? I'm of intimidated. It? I might tell can, you. Can you recognize your sister you from like what she was? Say. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk for a minute here? No, of course not. Take it away, folks. This it's is a conspiracy, Friday. isn't this a conspiracy? And that's what they're all talking about, the conspiracies and everything. That's what two or more people can get together. That's defined by law. And say what they want to say. Yeah, just that they get together, you know. Oh, is it just that they get together now? I just if passed we, the If we had one more fun to hear, we'd have a conspiracy then. Or... We do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have another well, nowadays, phone? you know, I mean, I, I, uh, I used to think when I read the papers and I said, well, so-and-so has been arrested for inciting to riot, that I thought, well, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire, there has to be at least a grain of truth. Mm. Having just been, uh, shall we say, arrested for demonstrating and inciting to riot, supposedly, I now know, uh, now when I read the papers, I, uh, I think, well, it's probably uh, a total myth. Right? I mean, we've all been through that. Both of you have been. You've been arrested. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, they consider me to be... When you've been uh, through it, you realize a that... political anarchist or something like that. Yeah. You know? I saw you, you on meet a late somebody. night uh, talk show where a fellow considered you that. He shall go nameless, but I'll give you a hint of who he was. Uh, <laughs> David Frost attempted to look into his alleged soul for 90 minutes and came up empty. Uh, <laughs> A frightened little man, and he has every right to be. That's his only touch with reality. He talked to Peter, and he talked to him like, you know, he's passing out rifles after the program. You know, aren't, you, aren't you fellas copping out? I mean, kept looking at the dark glasses and everything. He was really worried. You know, like you're leading a conspiracy. People yes. are threatened very easily, aren't they? They are. It doesn't take much. Well, paranoia strikes deep, you know. I must admit, I'm paranoid, too. Not about the CIA, ABM, FBI, uh, communists, Catholics, junkies, Republicans, and even the members of the L.A. Country Club. But <laughs> I don't. Gentiles all. Have we left all. anyone out? Oh, no, you know, we could go on forever about it, but groups of people. I was very interested in um, you yes. getting it on with the, uh, his grace. Yeah, you know, because I agree, you know, I have to feel that uh, either we're all God or there's no God. What, what would you call that? Somebody else agrees, that way. There's a few gods up there, too. 
They're high I would, enough that they That's the traditional direction, I know. <laughs> that's <laughs> orthodox. 